Hey ladies and gents, this is Linda Faychick777 and today I'm coming at you with a design team project for Renee Bouquets. Now this project is a 12 by 12 altered canvas and um, I don't know why I created it. <laughs> um, I just picked up some beautiful Blue Fern Studio uh, paper from Renee's shop. It's the Serendipity line and it was just so pretty. I, you know, I was just trying to figure out a way, you know, I could use it and, you know, you start going on Pinterest and things like that and I ended up with a canvas. So I'm going to move my sign out of the way and first thing I'm going to do is just show you a little bit of this paper line, okay? bring it in and um, lots of pretty colors i would have normally went for one of her other um lines that she carries uh because of the color palette because um this one's got a little bit more yellows and things and blues i don't really use a lot but i was just trying to go out of my box a little bit because i love the blue fern studio um collections of paper because the paper is really thick like cardstock if you've never seen it before um, or felt it before so so this is a Chronicle, is this one, double-sided, very pretty um, aquas, the back side. Um, this is called Reminisce. Okay, just a real pretty collection. Their papers are always, you know, usually very collage -y. Back side of this one, kind of the same pattern, but in pinks. I mean, the pinks aren't hard to use, but I don't tend to always do a lot of um, blues and yellows, but still just a real pretty line. This is called Anticipation. And then the back side, just a kind of nice, uh, real muted kind of collage. A um, little bit of script on it. This one's called Fascination. Okay. The back side, a real pretty just muted script again, kind of a little bit of peach. See, it's not um, horrible colors, obviously. It's just colors, like I said, that I don't really um, go with a lot. I do pinks, which is easy. This is contemplation. But the yellows and the blues, you know, um, are just not usually in my element. But I love them. I love the colors. So I just, for some reason, don't really gravitate toward them a lot unless I'm making a gift for somebody. And then this one is inspiration. Just really beautiful. Okay, kind of a little bit of um, Paris wording and stuff on it. The back side again is a little bit pink. So anyway, this is the uh, line that I went with that I created with. So I'm now going to bring in my canvas. With this collection, this paper line and the things I chose to create with it kind of went toward a vintage feel to me, I think. Almost reminded me of Lady's Diary. Um, in fact, when I was going to um, create with it, I almost strayed away from the serendipity and I was going to pull out because of the peaches and stuff. I was going to actually pull out my Lady's Diary um, collection, but I'm like, nope, I am going to create with this line. So um, I don't know. What do you think? I think I love it. I think it turned out pretty. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I have someone in mind that I'm thinking about gifting it to. Um, so I'm going to hold on to that thought a little bit longer. Um, she would not even suspect this at all. So, um, and I just think it's kind of right up her alley. I might enjoy it for a little while and just kind of look at it and stuff, you know, a couple weeks, maybe a month, and then kind of send it on out just so, you know. What the heck? I want to enjoy looking at it. Um, anyway, the canvas um, is in my stash. I picked it up a long time ago, and it's a, actually a canvas, um, and it's got like a almost like a burlap type fabric on it. Really thick, thick um, canvas, um, and it's kind of an off-white color anyway. And what I did is used. I've got these um, watercolor paints in my stash. And um, so I use a couple of colors, these two colors. Um, this one is kind of a peachy tone. And then this one's a, kind of a little bit more of a pinkish, peachy, gold-like. Almost a tea dye, I guess. Um, anyway, so I went around this on the canvas on the outside. And this one I use kind of on top of the paper a little bit. And I'll show you how um, that one turned out. Okay. 
You'll see it a little bit better on the canvas. So those were kind of the watercolors I used. Anyway, um, so dyed kind of the outside of the fabric. Let me turn it to the back a minute. You can kind of see, you know, it's more of the cream, and then you can see a little bit of the pinkish tone on it. Okay, just to, you know, kind of make it match the paper line a little bit. And then on top, you can see that other color. See, it, it looks almost gold on the camera, but it actually kind of turns out like a nice uh, peachish color. Of course, um, I also, on this paper, so let's back up a minute. So I laid one of the papers down first, and of course I, you know, sewed all the pieces of my paper, distressed everything, and so I laid down a piece first, um, and then under a couple of edges, tucked in, this is some Prima Flower Trim Magnolia, tucked in a little bit of floral trim up there, and then another little piece right down here. So, um... Before I go in a little further, let me just let you take a little bit um, slower look at this before I start flipping it and turning it and doing all sorts of things to it so that I can explain things. And I kind of wanted it to be inspirational, but yeah, I think it took a vintage turn. What do you guys think with the colors? Um, and I just thought this um, journaling card was from the collection. You know what? I didn't see that paper. Let me pull it out. I don't think I pulled that one out for you guys. Um, let me find it real quick. It's a piece that didn't get taken out here because I know I cut one up. Oh, well, here's some of it I cut it up I cut two pieces up that's what happened is this back piece is the piece that has the journaling cards on the back and you get two sheets in each collection and so this is the back of this larger piece here that has the little journaling cards and in one piece of course I cut up and used um, on the canvas okay so that was the other sheet and I couldn't tell you what it's called because I cut the strip off obviously so you know this is the one side and then the little journaling cards are the other and that's where this little piece came from and this little serendipity uh, quote came from so anyway um, and I was really proud of myself and I'll tell you why in just a little bit Nothing um, spectacular, but I was just so proud of myself. <laughs> Pulled something out of the drawer that I've been holding on to for a year because I thought it was so cute when it came out. Actually, like two or three years. And I'm like, I'm never going to use this thing. It's so cute. And I just don't know what to use it on. Finally used it. Anyway, so sheet on the back, like I said, the larger sheet. And then I went around with like a stamp with some stays on ink and uh, stamped a few areas along the canvas. I'm going to bring this up just a little bit more. There we go. So I can tilt this a little bit better. So a little bit of stamping on it. And then I used a Prima stencil, little micro dots stencil with modeling paste on it in, uh, in certain areas kind of around the canvas as well. And then while the modeling paste was still wet, I pressed in um, Renee Bouquet's glitter glass in the sand because it kind of looks like a vintage pink. So I kind of pressed that into uh, the little tiny micro dot stencils. Okay, and then I took, you can see some splatters. I took uh, Prima's heavy white gesso and watered it down and kind of, you know, splattered it onto my canvas. And then I've also got, you see some kind of little darker splatters. This is Tim Holtz um, Distress Spray Stain from Renee's shop, and it's in the Tattered Rose, and I kind of splattered that all along uh, the back of the canvas as well. And then I started just kind of layering. Um, let's go to this right side. This is just some eyelet that's in my stash that I kind of layered down the side. And then the next layer is this beautiful lace from Renee's shop, and it's called the Flower Girl Lace. And since it's kind of mostly covered up, let me bring it up and show you. And it's about two and three quarter inch wide. So this is the lace. Really pretty. I love how um, textured it looks. Is that the right side? Yeah, that's the right side. Just a real beautiful lace. Um, 
And so that's on this side, kind of textured down, okay? And then let's go to the center. So then what I did is I layered one, two, three um, different sheets of the paper, and I kind of scrunched it up. I wet it and scrunched it up as I layered it just to kind of give it a little bit more of the distressed uh, look to it. Um, in between the layers, this little scalloped uh, chipboard piece here is from Blue Fern Studios. Um, and that's basically what it's called, the scallop border from Renee's shop. So I just painted that white with um, the uh, Tim Holtz Distress Spray Stain uh, from Renee's shop, the white picket fence. And I sprayed, painted that or sprayed it or whatever, white. Okay, so that's what that is there. Um, over here on this, what I'm going to kind of do is explain this centerpiece to you, okay? And then we'll go to the sides. So over here on this side is a Prima wood piece from the uh, Tales of You and Me collection, little bingo card here. And then layered up here is a Prima resin frame. This is just the um, Victorian frames, I believe, and these are from Renee's shop. It's like the big... Um, the big square and the little square frame, two piece per set. Okay, um, I got a beautiful Renee Bouquet's butterfly here. As you guys know, these are my favorite ones. It's called the Ice. It's just a um, real soft uh, color with a plain, you know, a clear diamond glitter glass over the top of it. it just kind of goes on everything. This is a little Brad from the Prima Tales of You and Me collection. I've got kind of got tucked in there. Um, and then another piece here, like I said, this was a uh, journaling card from the this uh, Blue Fern Studios collection. So serendipity um, definition, finding something good without looking for it. Cute definition. Um, over here, this is a chipboard piece by Prima, and this is from the... Um, Time Traveler's Memories Collection. It's a little chipboard frame, but I like it because it had like the little roses and stuff on it. And it kind of matched the coloring in the collection. Um, over here to the side, this is just a little die cut frame that was gifted to me. So I kind of tucked that in there because I like the little swirlies on it. And then this right here is a piece of the uh, Prima resin frame. And these are just the little oval frames that comes like three to a set and uh, came from Renee's shop. So what I did is I broke it in half. I know. And I've got one on this side, and then the other half of it is right down here, kind of under this woodward here. Okay, and I kind of tucked it up in between the layers. And in order to pop all my layers up, I've got a chipboard in between, you know, two or three um, pieces of chipboard in between kind of each layer to kind of stack this up, as you can see. Okay. All right, so then kind of on top of that, this is another Prima resin square frame from my stash. And then I've got a couple more sheets of, you know, the paper and showing this quote, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Really neat quote. Over here is a Prima key, I believe. Okay. Um, and underneath, this is just a Woodward from my stash. And I used, what I did is I took the um, Distress Spray Stain and I painted it white, um, the picket fence one, and then I went back over it with the um, the stain in Tattered Rose, and then I took um, Tim Holtz, uh, his white crackle paint that you can't get anymore. I love it. I'm down to my last jar. I'm going to have to start going on the hunt for it, hopefully find it on eBay, um, and I crackled it. See? I did that on this word and another wood word I'll show you in just a minute. So it's got just a little bit of a crackled look there. Okay. All right. So let's go to this left side. So a bunch of flowers um, from my stash. Um, these are recollections flowers here. This script and this here. Um, this is a white curly rose. It is from Renee's shop. It's by Prima. It's the, um, excuse me. It's the um, French Riviera collection, okay, curly flower. Um, these are, you know, my coveted rolled roses that I like by Prima. Probably came from Garden Fable or Debutante collection. Um, Wild Orchid Craft Flowers, more recol... Oh, no, these ones, these already have the glitter on them. These are by Prima, and they are from the... Just from my stash, but they are from... Vintage Emporium collection, which are these right here. OK, 
okay and then right down in here I've got a little Prima metal door lock Renee used to have these in her shop and so I bought a bunch of them up and I'm down to my last package hard to find those are um, this piece is by Blue Fern Studios from Renee's shop it's the shabby brick bits and I did the same thing to this that I did to the Woodward I painted it white then over with the tattered rose then back over with the Tim Holtz crackle paint okay and then um, on top Remember earlier I said I was excited because I actually used something in my stash that was years old. It's this Prima Metal um, wash basin, I guess, or faucet. I don't even know what you call those. I've got to look really quick. Um, what did she call these? Antique garden sinks. That's this. I had one package of, them, package of them, thought they were super cute, and I just could never find the right project to put it on. I think it fit on this very well. I finally used one. Woo -hoo! So excited. <laughs> um, and I think it looks super cute in there. Um, this is a Prima uh, Frank Garcia memory hardware, little doorknob on top of that. And I love the cute little tiny um, faucet that you glue onto the sink, so cute. And then over here is another Renee Bouquet's butterfly. This one's called Sweet Nothings. It's kind of got a peach tone to it, so very pretty. Okay, let's see. Oh, and then I've got tucked in here another little Brad from the Tales of You and Me collection. All right, so let's go on over to this side. Um, right in here at the very tip top, I almost forgot it. This is um, Renee Bouquet's. It is a, a lace and it's a butterfly trim. And I just kind of tucked it in there. I thought it was cute kind of peeking out. Um, I've got another of the shabby brick bits, Blue Fern Studios up here. And then coming down the right hand side, I've got a lot going on. You guys know how I like to layer. Um, Let's see, let's start over here. This is just a little floral uh, trim from my stash. I think this is from Spare Parts from Hobby Lobby. Um, and then I've got a Prima Resin Angel tucked right there next to that. Um, and then as we come down a little more further on this right-hand side, this is um, clear in the very back. You can just see a tiny piece of it. This is by Tim Holtz, the, the ornate book plate um, frames. This is from Renee's shop, so I've got it kind of tucked in there and put a little gesso on top of it, tone it down just a little bit. On top of that, this is another chipboard piece by Prima from the um, Timeless Memories collection. And then I've got a Prima metal clock face and Prima metal clock hands that came from Renee's shop. If they're still in stock, they might be out by now. Um, I've got another little Brad hanging in there from the Tales of You and Me collection. Again, here's another uh, resin frame from Renee's shop. These by Prima, and these are the Victorian frames. It's got one small round or oval one, and then one large oval one. So I've got that kind of tucked there. Again, Recollections flowers kind of all tucked in here. Wild Orchid craft flowers, Prima's rolled roses, um, and then just right in the center of it all, just looking very beautiful. Um, Renee Bouquet chiffon flowers you guys I love these they are just so shabby chic and you can make them look vintage this is the ivory one and then right here this one is the khaki colored one just beautiful let me show you I know you guys have seen them before but sometimes I have new subscribers okay so let me show you so this is and I love the texture on them just beautiful so this is the ivory See in the palm of my hand, a couple inches. Just look at the dimension on that. So pretty. They just they just look so romantic. I just love them. That was the ivory, like I said. And then I have one left of the khaki. And I want to show you a little bit. Because they get kind of squished in my project, you know. And I, so I want to uh, show you up close here. There we go. Beautiful little khaki um, colored. Really pretty. And I love how they come with the pearls and the little diamonds on them. Diamond bling. Just one of my favorite, both of them, my favorite flowers. 
anyway so I've got that kind of tucked in here and I have it what I did is I kind of laid down these back pieces first and then I laid down this is just some silk uh, ribbon from my stash and then this is some other lace from my stash I made both of those into bows and I glued them down and then I started layering all the different flowers kind of all around that bow okay both of those bows and then right in here is another little love word from my stash and I did the same thing that I did to this word and to the shabby brick bits um, with the crackling and everything okay and then down in here I've got a little Prima light bulb tucked in there it says moments on it and then I've got another uh, Renee Bouquet butterfly here the ice okay and I'm just taking a minute to pause to make sure I didn't forget anything I think I got it all okay and then to finish everything off, um, I then went around with some more uh, Rene Bouquet's glitter glass in the diamond. I uh, painted on three Prima's 3D matte gel as the adhesive, and then I sprinkled the glitter glass, diamond glitter glass, in various areas um, around the canvas just to give it a little bit more of that vintage touch. Just kind of going around and pointing it out, various areas just makes it so pretty I love to do it and you don't need much it's just a tiny bit you don't need a lot there's a little bit on here that one's probably gonna be hard to see um, but you can see it over here yeah a little bit of the diamonds and then a little bit of um, I think I used the sand is that the one I used let me see real quick yep a little bit of the diamonds a little bit of the sand the sands more of the pinkish the blush, real light blush color, and then the diamonds is kind of the clear. Okay. Just all around the project. So anyway, that is the canvas I came up with. I think it turned out just really, really pretty. Um, I hope you guys like it. I had fun doing it. Um, I don't do canvases a lot, but this one was fun, and I haven't done like where I go around and I, you know, I've watched a lot of videos on it and done it, and I finally this time, I mean, I've done like six by six, but I um, haven't really messed with the bigger canvases a lot. I've messed with like a seven by 14, but I think this is kind of my first 12 by 12. Um, that I've really messed with where I went in and I kind of painted the background with a little bit of the watercolor paint I did a little bit of the stamping for the texture. I did splatters things like that You know a lot of mixed media techniques on this one um, you know just to get a little bit of practice in it and I Really wasn't too terrified to do it. So and with the blue fern studio paper it made it quite easy because it's already a lot of collage type um, print anyway and just to add a little bit more um, quote unquote collage to it made it simple anyway I will have all the links down below to everything Rene Bouquet's I'll stop uh, you know chattering away um, I also have a link to my uh, blog and Pinterest account we can get close-up photos there's also will be a link under all the Rene Bouquet's is the Rene Bouquet's blog as well uh, where you can go to and see other artists um, on our design team on Renee's design team and see their work and the things they have come up with uh, with her product um, I thank you for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.